Hi, it's new. It is Saturday. We just got back from a whole bunch of different stuff. We went to Big Lots and I picked up a couple of things that I needed. We had to go to the vets because our dog had like a cancer that he needed to get removed. So that was kind of sad. He's doing fine. He's just recuperating now. I had a plan to make something a little bit later. I saw it on Etsy and it's like the cutest thing. And I was like, I can make one of those. She is so obnoxious, like I swear to God. So it's for a uh, beeswax candle. Beeswax candles have the best smell. I wish I could just smell like this all day long. I don't really like this holder, like it's okay. It goes inside of my lamp and it catches the wax and stuff, but I wanted to make something cuter. So I thought that I would make a little slug. I saw this picture on Etsy, I'll show it here. It's so cute and I was like, oh my gosh, I can make a clay slug just like that and then like do my own and like put the little candle thing inside of it. It's gonna be adorable. So I decided that I wanted to do that because I wanted to kind of upgrade this candle situation anyways. Obviously the slug wouldn't go inside of my lantern, but it could just like hang out on my desk or something. I'm slightly worried that the candle will drip and get wax everywhere, but I mean, it's pretty easy to clean, so like, I feel like this is a non-issue. I won't show you the surgery site because it's kind of gross, but he's just a little sleepy. Like we all... Not sure what happened to your brother. Well, I was trying to set up to film um, making that candle holder, but my tripod just broke, so that's really nice. I think the screw that was in there got stripped or something, which is like freaking dumb. So the whole thing's basically useless now. So I think I'm going to use this Sculpey 3. I think this is translucent. Oh yeah, this is kneading pretty easily. Should be good to go.
He literally just pooped on me. I stopped in at Michael's and I picked up these little slate coasters. Let me try to get one out of here. But I keep seeing people posting like little scenes or sets on like pieces of wood of little clay figurines or whatever, or just like something cute, like a little scenery on a piece of wood. I love them. I think they're really cute. I definitely want to do that because I've never done something like that before. I found these at Michael's and I was like, oh my God, these are perfect. So these are like little slate, sorry, that's like condensation from my hand. These are little slate um, coasters and you can't bake these, but I was thinking that I could make like a little scenery on them, like put a little ghost or mushroom or something on top and then bake that stuff and then glue it onto things afterwards. And then they're perfect for just like putting on your desk because they could just easily go onto your desk and it's not going to like scuff anything up because they're like, they're coasters. So they're meant to be in spaces like this. So I was like, I think these are gonna be bomb. They're gonna look really, really cool. If I can get something, figure out an idea for what I wanna make for a scene on them. Yeah, I did get two packages in the mail. So I'm going to unbox these um, right now. There's a plane going overhead, of course. All right, so the first package that I got was from the Fantastic World of Wobbly Willows. This is actually an art print. Let me try to, oh, it's gonna unbox nicely, apparently. It's a little sticker. I was literally actually going to buy this painting, um, this art print from her, and she sent it as a sticker. That's adorable. Here's her business card if you're interested. Literally, how cute is this? So this is from an Etsy shop. They also have a Instagram. Um, it's called Small Wookie. God, I can literally like, okay, I can see it. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God. This is literally like the cutest little desk friend. In other news, this is the slug that I finished. It turned out pretty good. It fits a candle. For whatever reason, it cracked like so bad in the oven. I'm going to paint this and then I'm going to put resin on it once it's painted. I haven't decided what I want to paint it though. Okay, you might be able to see it better now. The lighting in this house is atrocious, plus it's always raining and cloudy and gloomy outside. Can you see the cracking? Like, it's not that big a deal, but like I was kind of like low-key thinking that I wanted to sell these on my Etsy, but I need to figure out something better for the clay because it's definitely not choice. I decided to use, I think I'm going to paint this green, some sort of like a sagey green. Like I'm going to try to mix these. Supposedly this is like one of the best colors that you can get. I don't know why, but it's also like really expensive. I think this bottle was like $26 or something like that, but apparently this is like a really great green to have. I don't know why. And then I have this, which is sage green and then olive green. So I'm going to try to mix these to make some sort of a green for the base. And then I was thinking I would do a little flower, like a daisy or something. 
and just paint that like around the outside like spots or something like that so I just have this yellow and white It's lighter than what it looks like on camera, but I actually really like this color. It was, I was kind of shocked because this is like the supposedly the, the really expensive green. This is green gold by Golden. And then you just mix like a little of it with this like sage green. And all of a sudden you get this like super pretty like pastel lime green. It's so pretty. I was definitely not expecting that. But after I'm painting it, you can definitely see the cracks a lot more on it. I've just never had clay crack like that before, so I'm not sure what went wrong. I did bake it for longer than it said that I should, so I mean that might have done it, but everything, all the clay stuff that I bake, I bake it for longer than it says. And I've never had this cracking issue, so I'm not sure what to do about that. I had the first two layers on. It's still a little wet, but the inside needs to dry. And then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side. I think it's done um I was having a little bit of trouble with the spots like these spots first I did them in like a sage green which you saw in the beginning and then I did them with a yellowy green which was like a little bit brighter than this base color which you can see like underneath and then I was like well I didn't really like that because it was kind of taking away I don't know so I decided to like put little dark green globs over top of them and I like how that turned out and then I just painted the inside a darker green so it's just it's greeny little slugness and for reference 
there was a little candle. I think I'm going to stick with my choice to not put a face on it. 